Turbo Coyote, bro. <laughs> yeah. What is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video. As y'all can see, we're back at that good old HEB, man, getting some of that good E85. And that first clip that you guys saw was a Mustang that was twin turbo with hood exit exhaust. That joint was clean as hell. MT82 car um, was definitely nice as hell. But as y'all can see, got my boy Gully with me. It's another 5 0 over there, bro. That's crazy. But got my boy Gully with me tonight, man. My boy Gully got that. You got that special sauce, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, you hear me? The Gully got that, that, that. Gully got that. You feel me? That boy got that Nola juice. You know what I'm saying? That's what we gonna call that. That boy got that Nola juice. If you know, you know. If you don't, you, yeah. Just know this ain't pee. You feel me? <laughs> hey, man. Say, man. So, right now, we're about to get in the cars, bro. We got about an hour drive out to Mexico. We're actually going to be doing some dig runs today. We got the draggy. We're going to try to get some eighth. We're for sure going to be able to get some eighth mile hits, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do quarter mile. We're going to do our best to get the quarter mile joints going, though. So, y'all, go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And just grab you a... a a thing of popcorn man because vader is probably gonna run personal best in the eighth today i can't lie with what it was trapping after doing the math from the 6130 personal best it should have ran a crazy number in the quarter which means a crazy number in the eighth so if i see that number in the eighth today i know what it'll do in the quarter for sure and then on top of that my boy rk gave me the green light to put that spicy tune back on the car. So, yeah, we about to, yeah. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, we made it out here to Mexico, man. Um, I just loaded the spicy tune back on the Vader, man. I'm actually about to check tire pressures and probably drop those joints down a little bit. My boy Gully's over there getting ready to spray down that, you know what I'm saying, that Nola juice. We're gonna do a nice little burnout get the tires nice and warm nice and hot nice and sticky and then we're gonna make the first pass i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on the head mount um and we're also gonna be recording via draggy and i'm gonna be data logging for my boy rk so we just gonna see what it does in the eighth prior to this the fastest the car has gone in the eighth is a seven four that is the fastest the car has gone so today we're gonna see if we can't crack a seven oh flat or a 6.9. Hopefully we can get a 6.9, but we'll see. We currently got E78 in the car and we got just under a half a tank. So we're a little bit on the heavy side, but it is a very high um, percentage of ethanol. So hopefully it'll work out. I just did a burnout and drive. All right, y'all, so really and truly, I have no idea where the uh, the eighth mile is right now. So I'm finna go ahead and do a run going straight down. And my tuning tablet just died on us. So yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what it do. Oh, 
there we go. Okay. So it actually worked that time. As y'all can tell, bro, this is my first time using the draggy like this, bro. So that being said, y'all gonna have to just bear with the kid as I learn this stuff. We really spun bad. Like, we spun really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie. So, that being said, I know that was terrible. Yeah, 750s is what we normally do. 11.5 in the quarter. Oh, so I went all the way to the quarter, bro. I'm like, eighth mile is not that long, but I'm not hearing this joint say nothing. And now that I done came all the way down here, I know it's about to be covered in rocks, bro. Quarter mile, 11.50. But, oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> I didn't even think about, I didn't even just peep that, bro. That's a new PB in the quarter. 11.5 in the quarter? Yo, bro. Okay, so I'm not like entirely upset. I'm not gonna lie. 11.5 in the quarter is great. Spinning? Last little bit of prep. <laughs> She was hooking up all vital this time. All right, y'all. So we're just gonna go off idle this time because she been spinning like crazy. Three, two, one. Seven eighties and a twelve oh. We spun like shh. nobody's business, bro. I cannot get this thing to hook. That tune might just be a little too spicy for the street, dog. That's so tough. My boy Fool sent that. Oh, damn, that's tough. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start flashing this tune on your way while you on your way back. All right. But, damn, y'all. So we're gonna switch to the tune that's less spicy now, bro. Cause as y'all can see, traction is just not my friend today. Like I can't get this car to hook for anything bro we are just gonna go ahead and put in the tune from yesterday so as y'all see we just flashed over the not so spicy spicy tune we're gonna see if vader can actually hook bro the problem that i'm having right now is i'm spinning like crazy bro i'm spinning like no man's business bro so I just can't hook. I feel like if I could hook, then we'd probably be able to get deeper into the times, bro. But since I'm not hooking, I don't know. Here goes my boy Gully. I had to tell him the sad news. All right, y'all. So right now, we finna try to do a bigger burnout. See if that works. <laughs> That 
that wasn't a big enough burnout, I don't know what was, bro. I got real violent with that joint that time. Here we go. have been decent but we'll see for real what was it a seven six <sighs> cannot get this thing to hook bro oh can't get this thing to hook all right you guys so we about to give it a try with the traction control off but esc on and see if i can not hook up and I'm also going to try to leave at 2,000, which I know is a bit of a stretch, but we're going to see. All right. And bro said stop leaving at first, leaving, leaving and drive. We about to see if I can even stall this joint up to 2K. I don't know. feel it bro we finna try this with everything on bro i'm finna delete this log real quick Hold on. okay just started another log See what's good. Two grand. Right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I didn't even think I was going to be able to stall it up to two grand, to be honest with y'all. But we're going to see. legitimately cannot hook no matter what i do to save my life this thing will not hook bro all right y'all this is gonna be the last one so we're gonna try to make it count I think we might just gotta call it, bro. Yerp, what's good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy J.I. checking in, man. So currently editing this video, I am back on the road right now as we speak, and I realized that I didn't record an outro, and I'ma just keep it a buck, man. It wasn't actually just me being caught up in the moment or none of that. It was actually the simple fact that a lot of things went wrong off camera, and it kind of just all played a major factor into, you know, how that night went. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the first issue that we encountered. Um, the tablet actually ended up dying on us. I mentioned this in the vlog somewhere towards the middle. Um, yeah, the tablet ended up dying. Rookie mistake. I charged all the cameras. I charged everything but the tuning tablet. So 
L on me, L in the chat, you know what I'm saying? Your boy forgot to charge the tablet. Then secondly, my iPhone started dying as well. And my phone was doubling back as the draggy. And then it was also doubling back as the personal hotspot for the tablet for whenever I was sending and receiving the data logs from RK on my tablet. Then the third and final thing, bro, honestly, like I just downright could not get the car to hook at all. I was spinning whether we did leaving off idle, whether I left off 1,000 RPM, whether I left off 1,100 RPM, 1,500 RPM, 1,900 RPM, 2K RPM. It didn't matter. The car was just spinning. Um, off camera, we did air down the tires to 17 and a half pounds, and I was still spinning. Like, it was just... I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's the street. All we did was a prep puddle burnout. There was no prepped lane or nothing like that. So I wasn't expecting a dead hook, but I was expecting a hook a little bit with the prep, bro, but I didn't. So I don't know. Um, I got some things already in the works um, to kind of take care of that and help that. So just stay tuned for that. And then also when I was on the way back home from Mexico, I did go ahead and do some 6130 pulls with the spicy Sriracha tune to see if we could best our personal best time with the 6130 and some stuff happened. If you've seen the previous 6130 video, then you probably already know where I'm going with that. But if you didn't, go tune in with that video and stay tuned for Monday's video because... I got some things that I need to buy because we think we have the solution to this issue. Hopefully it works, but once I get back in Houston, that's when I'll be able to implement it and then we'll go from there. I've got parts waiting as we speak at the crib right now for Vader. So as soon as we get back in the city, trust, Vader is about to look insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop a comment in the comment section down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I would roll that outro, but unfortunately, your boy goofed and I brought my wife's laptop with me instead of bringing my laptop with me. And my laptop has all the intro, the outro, the little SpongeBob clips, all of that. So her laptop doesn't have any of that. So instead of me rolling that outro, that's just gonna be it for this video. Click on either one of these videos that's on the screen and go tap in. Matter of fact, watch both of them if you haven't watched them yet. But other than that, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.